Hi, welcome to this typical Mueller production video. Today's video is about mule deer on the winter range. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you see that I got a video called The Bucks of December. And this is just a continuation of that series called The Bucks of January. And I'm just going to go through the bucks that I saw, um, what I liked about them, kind of my comments, uh, the context that I saw them in, um, just some video and pictures of those bucks. And enjoy the video. So this buck right here is a buck I called the Wide Four. Really nice buck. Um, he's definitely over 30 inches. Um, just a cool buck, nice four point. And um, the context on this is um, he was a long ways away, probably 700 yards, whatever, and I was zoomed way in. So that's why the footage is a little grainy on this. But beautiful buck um, I think he's an older buck he kind of looks like it to me um, just a just a beautiful deer uh, really wide buck enjoy the clip This buck here is a buck I call a uh, short back and because he's got that little teeny fork on his uh, right side there on the back and he's just a, a young buck just a nice up-and-comer four point um, and he's just following these does here um, beautiful deer um, context on this one I he was right next to the road here, about ready to cross the road, and I stopped and got some video of him. And uh, just a beautiful buck. Yeah. And this is just another short clip of him right here. This is a buck uh, I should call Big Two because he's just a, just a glorified two point. And uh, again, he was pretty close to me here and he was he was with a few other deer and so that's like why he's a little he's a little nervous because he's pretty close to me but um, got some good footage of him uh, beautiful deer just <laughs> one of those one of those big two points you gotta love This here is a buck I call No Brow, and uh, I just saw him right off the road, and he was with a few other deer, and so I stopped and got some some video footage of him. He's again just a young buck, up and comer, beautiful young buck. And here's another clip of them with just some, some other deer.
And this little buck here, I don't know if he had shed already or if he'd broken it off. I think he'd just broken it off here, but I wasn't sure. Let me know what you think in the comments if he broke it off or if he shed. And here is a clip of the wide four and another buck that I I don't know who he is. I, this is the first time I'd seen the little the little or buck. So And this is just cool footage here because you can see just how wide he is. Um, you know, compared to this other deer. This is a buck that this is the first time I'd seen this buck and I didn't recognize him and, and he was just walking through the junipers here and I just happened to get some footage of him and it was almost dark and so that's why this footage isn't the greatest. And this this buck here, this little four point here, he was he was with these deer and if you notice this doe right here, she's got a radio collar on and she's got some some yellow bling in her ears. <laughs> Just some cool footage of this young buck here. And these are a couple of bucks that I saw just uh, just at sunset, and I didn't really recognize either one of these. This one might be no brow but I'm not 100% sure sure who this is uh, just caught him at sunset as well uh, just a short little clip of this buck nice buck just a young guy and this is a buck I call the tall four um, beautiful buck and I was driving and I just pulled up over a little knob and he was standing right here in this field about 30, 40 yards away and he just, he didn't even care I was here and he just, he just feeding with a couple of does right here. Beautiful buck, really tall, really good forks, uh, just not very wide. This is a buck I call the narrow four, and uh, just another good buck, uh, nice buck, probably, you know, three, four year old deer, just walking along this field, uh, so I got some footage of him. And he was a long ways off, probably. 600 yards or so, five, 600 yards. 
maybe even further. So that's why the footage here is a little grainy, but a little bit shaky. This is a buck I call the 160, and just um, a buck that, that's on the, the muleys of December. And uh, it was just a, just a nice buck. Um, it is beautiful. Again, this is, this is a long ways off, probably 400 to 500 yards. This is a buck I call Whitey here with the uh, glorified two point. And Whitey was on my Bucks of December video as well. Just a non typical white tail looking frame. Cool buck. A beautiful buck. And this is just another clip of mine. I was like 20 yards away from him in my vehicle here, and and he was he was a little nervous, but uh, he was okay. Uh, just a just a beautiful deer. He's he's one of my favorites that I found this year on the winter range. Just a unique, unique deer. And then here's just another little short clip of him. This is a buck that I'd seen before that I, I called 170. He's he's not 170 inches, but he's just a, a cool buck. I just got a short, short glimpse of him. And then this is, I think, the first shed buck I've seen seen during the year and uh, just this little two points standing on this skyline here I just thought this was kind of a cool picture I think this was like January 24th I want to say maybe the maybe 23rd this is a buck I call the big two by three. He was on the Bucks December as well. It's a beautiful buck, just a huge frame, but just a big two by three. He's one of my favorites on the water range that I found this year too. Just a beautiful buck.
He's such a beautiful bug. He's definitely an older bug. Just a cool, unique bug. And here's some more footage of the wide four. You can see him from the back there. Just He's such a beautiful buck. Really wide. Um, just beautiful, big body deer. Yeah, you get a few different angles of his antlers here. And he, he really shows off for the camera. And uh, he, he was probably about 200 yards away in this clip. And the video before with the big 2x3, big 2x3 was just up the hill from him. Um, And this is a clip of a little three point and a buck uh, from the last video called the broken four. And he'll come, the broken four will come through this gap here in just a second. Yeah, here's the broken four. This is a buck that I saw with the shed antler. Um, and this is January 30th. And so, and this is, this is really the big, the first big, you know, four point that I'd seen shed this year. And so, uh, just realizing it's that time of the year when they're starting to shed. So, looking forward to shed season. Unfortunately, a lot of these deer that I see are on private property, so shed hunting for them isn't allowed, but they're cool to see nonetheless. And this is the tall four and no brow at sunset. And I just thought this was a beautiful picture, um, beautiful scene. And you can really see how big uh, the tall four really is compared to no brow here. beautiful sunset. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. Um, just as a reiteration, let me know in the comments what your favorite buck was and why. And future videos coming up, it's either going to be more elk on the winter range or some birding footage, uh, a birding video. 
So I look forward to that. And live in the moment, enjoy the memories, and thanks for watching.